This country was the only Hindu kingdom in the world until the monarchy was abolished in 2008. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Nepal, a landlocked country nestled in the Himalayas, bordered by India to the south, east and west, and China to the north. Watch and learn about its history, geography, and the warm hospitality that defines this Himalayan nation. Nepal is a landlocked country located in South Asia between India and China. Nepal covers an area of 147,181 square kilometers and contains ecological diversity ranging from the lowlands of the Terai region to the heights of the Himalayas. It is commonly divided into three physiographic areas, the mountain region, the hill region, and the Terai region. The Himalayas in the north have eight of the world's ten highest mountains, including Mount Everest. The hill region is located south of the mountains and includes Kathmandu Valley. The fertile Terai region contains tropical lowlands along the border with India. Nepal has a varied climate due to tremendous elevation changes over short distances. The lowlands have a humid subtropical climate while the mountains have an alpine climate. Monsoon rains occur between June and September. Winters are generally cool and summers are hot. Temperatures decrease with altitude. Nepal has many fast-flowing rivers, which originate in the Himalayas. Major rivers include the Koshi, Gandaki, Karnali and Mahakali. There are also lakes of glacial origin, including Rara Lake in the northwest. Rivers and lakes provide important resources for irrigation, transportation, and hydropower. Nepal is home to over 100 ethnic groups and castes. The Nepali people display great cultural, religious, and linguistic diversity. Around 30 million people reside in the country, according to World Bank data. Some major ethnic groups are Chetri. Sherpas and Tamangs, Nuars in the Kathmandu Valley, and Tharas and Maithils in the Southern Plains. Kasti and ethnic identities remain important in Nepal. Nepal was the world's only Hindu kingdom until 2008, but it is a place of religious blending. While most Nepalis are Hindu, there are many Buddhist groups. Other religions, including Islam, Christianity, Jainism and Animism, are practiced. Nepal hosts important pilgrimage sites for both Hindus and Buddhists. Nepali is the official national language, but dozens of other languages are spoken. Maithili, Bhojpuri, Tharu, Tamang, Niwari, Magar and Awadi are some major regional languages. Nepal's language diversity poses challenges for communication, education, and governance. Nepali cuisine is influenced by its diverse landscape and mix of cultures. Rice, lentils, vegetables, and meat flavored with spices are staples in Nepali cooking. Nepali food ranges from hearty mountain dishes to spicy Terai cuisine. The national dish of Nepal is dal bahat, consisting of lentil soup called dal and steamed rice called bhat. It is usually served with curried vegetables or meat and pickles. Dal bhat is eaten throughout Nepal as a simple, nourishing meal. Momos are bite-sized dumplings stuffed with vegetables, meat or cheese. They originated in Tibet and are a popular snack in Nepal. Momos are steamed and served with a spicy dipping sauce. Sel roti is a sweet, ring-shaped rice bread that is especially popular during festivals. It is made by deep-frying rice batter and then dunking the crispy bread in sugary syrup. Sel roti is a specialty of the Terai region. Yomari are steamed dumplings stuffed with sweet fillings like molasses or sesame seeds. They are shaped like fish and are associated with the Niwari community. Yomari symbolizes prosperity and are eaten during Yomari Punhi, a post-harvest festival. 
some of the earliest inhabitants of Nepal were the Kirati peoples. Around 500 BCE, Indian influence increased in the Kathmandu Valley. Between the 7th and 11th centuries CE, the Lichavi dynasty ruled over Nepal and promoted both Hinduism and Buddhism. After the decline of the Lichavis, Nepal split into small principalities. Between the 13th and 18th centuries, Nepali art and architecture flourished under the Mala dynasty. There was also increasing Muslim incursion into the Kathmandu Valley during this period. In the mid-18th century, Prithvi Narayan Shah conquered small states and unified Nepal. He established the Shah dynasty in 1768. Nepal continued expanding under the Shahs and fought wars with Tibet and the British East India Company over disputed territories. In 1846, the Rana family gained power and reduced the Shah monarchs to figureheads and installed themselves in high levels of government. The Ranas severed ties with Tibet and aligned with the British. Their autocratic rule lasted over 100 years until the revolution in 1951. After the overthrow of the Ranas, King Tribhuvan restored power to the Shah monarchy. Democratic reforms followed in 1990 after protests for a multi-party system. A Maoist insurgency and royal family tragedy led to the end of Nepal's monarchy in 2008. Nepal continues to work towards political stability as a new republic. Nepal is one of the poorest and least developed countries in the world. As of 2022, its GDP is around $40 billion, according to World Bank data. Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy, providing livelihood for roughly two-thirds of the population. Nepal has significant potential to harness hydropower and tourism for growth. Agriculture accounts for one-third of Nepal's GDP. Major crops include rice, maize, millet and wheat. Cash crops like sugarcane, potatoes and jute are also grown. Subsistence farming dominates, but commercial farming is increasing. Lack of infrastructure and climate challenges constrain growth. Major industries include tourism, textiles, jute, sugar, paper and cement. Nepal has harnessed just 2% of its estimated 83,000 megawatts of hydropower potential. Political instability has deterred foreign investment needed for exploiting Nepal's water resources. The services sector, including tourism, contributes over half of GDP. Tourism employs nearly a million people. International tourist arrivals crossed the one million mark in 2018. However, Nepal's full tourism potential remains untapped due to underdeveloped infrastructure. Nepal's exports mainly include carpets, clothing, leather goods, jute goods, and grains. Major trade partners are India, the US, and Germany. Imports consist of gold, machinery, petroleum, fertilizer, and electronics. Nepal relies heavily on remittances, foreign aid, and exports to India. Nepal has a rich architectural heritage that spans over 2,000 years. Nepali architecture reflects both the ethnic diversity of the Nepali people and the influence of neighboring India and Tibet. Multi-tiered pagoda-style temples defined Nepali architecture between the 7th and 18th centuries. Pagodas like Changunarayan Temple had brick walls, tiled roofs, and carved wooden rafters. The pagoda style was introduced by the Lichavi and Mala dynasties. Stupas are dome-shaped Buddhist monuments. The stupa style flourished under the Thakuri dynasty between the 12th and 18th centuries. Major stupas like Buddhanath feature hemispherical mounds with Buddha's eyes painted on four sides. Nuwari architecture developed in the Kathmandu Valley between the 12th and 18th centuries. Nuwari buildings include Bahals, multi-story courtyard monasteries, and Kathmandu's old palace. 
Niwari Architecture combines brick and carved wood designs. If you enjoyed this video on Nepal, you'll love this next one.